All right. So I'm going to be reacting to uh, woke comedy. <laughs> I didn't know the wokest did comedy because there's nothing funny about the woke mobsters or the woke ideology. But anyways, her name is Anna Gatsby. I don't know. Never heard of her before. Anna Gatsby. Let's give her the benefit of doubt. I'm going to watch it and see. She might be funny. You know, funny is funny whether you're woke or not. Let's see if this is funny, though. And I've been slacking off in recent years with my lesbian content. I don't think I've been representing my people as, as, as much as I should be. You know, last year, my grandma asked me if I had a boyfriend. <laughs> and I realised in that moment that I'd quite forgotten <laughs> to come out to grandma. <laughs> I remember it being on my to-do list. <laughs> I think mean, I thought I'll wait till it comes up in conversation. But it never does. But finally it did. But I did not take the opportunity. <laughs> no, I uh, deflected it like a real man. I said, nah. <laughs> nah, Grandma. Nah, I don't have time for boyfriends. <laughs> Plural. <laughs> Thought about changing my... Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I'm laughing at how unfunny this is. Maybe it gets better, though. Maybe it gets better. The laugh just seems so very disingenuous. It's like they've got a laugh track or something. Whenever she says something, they just press the button. Like a like some sort of sitcom or something. Like just press the laugh track and everyone just laughs. Even when she's saying, Hey, everyone just laughs. Ah. I don't get it. Let's see though. She might get funnier pronouns to they them it <laughs> thought about changing my pronouns to they them it does make more sense you know they them but also makes you sound a lot wiser oh she's Australian yeah, you know what they say <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Please sorry for the guys that have been dragged there by their boy by their girlfriends or oh, boyfriends. It's a woke comedy show. <laughs> I feel bad for you, bro. <laughs> you're gonna sit there with a girl, probably you just started dating the girl and you're trying to get some. So you're trying to please her, take her to this because she wants to go here. And you're just sitting there like, oh my god. <laughs> Try to pretend to laugh to please her. Hoping you get some at the end of the night. Torturing yourself. <laughs> when you can take her somewhere like a Theo Vaughn show or, uh, you know, Cat Williams show or something. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is so unfunny. It's funny to me. That's what they reckon, but honestly, I'm still a little too attached to... Mm, that's what she said. I will not say sweater. I will be saying jumper, and you can cope. I'm not suggesting that jumper makes sense. Jumper makes fuck all sense. But what it does do is it sounds fun. Oh, I'm going to put on a jumper. Oh, mate, you're going to have a good day. Off your pop. What do you got? You put on a sweater. <laughs> yeah, this is the top I wear to soak up the wet of my... Uh, nah, 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 I can't, nah. Can't watch this crap no more. Oh, yeah, you uh -oh. hear? Uh -oh. The beast! Flex one, give me biggest of Mac. Mac, I need you here. Okay. 
Okay, Big Mac, you're ready? Yeah. Maddie, you're ready? Yeah. <laughs> that felt kind of good. <laughs> well, that rose. What's up? Your blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is comedy. This is comedy. Not that trash you were watching earlier. Man, what? This is comedy. She oh bro, you're done. You are done. Don't say nothing else, bro. What? What's up? Your blood pressure, bro. Oh, that girl is no joke. There's no coming back for this, man. This is RIP, man. You're done, bro. What's up? Your blood pressure. <laughs> Go back with the crew. Just send somebody else out for her. You, she just bodied you. Just that. Wow. Now this is comedy. This is funny. Maddie, I'm glad you got here. With the price of gas, I know it costs a lot to fill up your trailer. Someday you'll watch this episode and say, I can't believe I once had feet. <laughs> Somebody come and rescue this guy. You can't. You can't handle this girl, man. Bro. Bro. You are done. You, <laughs> you are done. You are done. You are done, bro. No, 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 no. She's a beast. No, no. You won't have feet. <laughs> she just killed him. He's done. After that, what's up? Your blood pressure. She's is done. Everything else is just she's just like adding a little gravy on it. She's she's finished him. <laughs> Maddie, I know you're frustrated. You ain't got no <laughs> since your little brother went to college. <laughs> you know what? Hey, you know hey, what? This, hey this semester's almost over. <laughs> He'll be home. Don't worry. Okay. You know what, Big Mac? You would eat my <laughs> if it was deep fried. <laughs> Who is this girl? Who is who is she? She is a beast. Uh -uh. <laughs> what? What? You're done, bro. No, you nah. Don't say nothing else because she keeps coming and coming and coming. Don't just say face. This is career ending roast right here, man. She is no joke. Who's that girl? She is no joke. This is not woke comedy. This is what? Ah! <laughs> this is comedy. This is comedy right here. Oh, God, Last week I got stuck too. I bought a new book, A Hundred Ways to Make Love. I ended up in traction. It was a misprint. <laughs> I never had any luck with girls anyway. I know I'm ugly. I went to a freak show to let me in for nothing. <laughs> My wife, she don't go for me either. And when she gave birth, I asked if I should be in a room with her. She said, what for? When I got pregnant, you wanted a room with me. <laughs> I tell you, since I'm a kid, women always gave me a hard time. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding Oh, my mother had morning sickness after I was born. I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect at all. You kid, no respect from anybody, anybody. You kidding? 
The time I was lost on a beach and a cop helped me look for my parents. I said to the cop, you think we'll find him? He said, I don't know, kid, there's so many places I could hide. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either. The time I was kidnapped, they sent back a piece of my finger. He said he wanted more proof. <laughs> That's comedy. This is comedy. That Gatsby or whatever her name is, the great Gatsby or whatever. Go and watch, go back and go back to the drawing board. This is comedy. What you were doing was just kindergarten crap for the walkiest. Walk people don't have sense of humor. This is humor right here, man. Women are so demanding. They got a lot of requirements. I want a man six feet. I want him to have six figures. He need at least six inches of dick. I was like, that, you just summoned the devil. <laughs> you do it. You wonder why your life is. Why he keeps fucking up your life? He's like, what is wrong? Why does Satan act like that? Satan, bitch. <laughs> Who is this guy? Who is this guy? He is funny. He's funny. Oh my. This is comedy, man. This is comedy. Gatsby, go back to the drawing board, man. Do real comedy. <laughs> the vagina is only four inches. Why do you need six? <laughs> you greedy bitches. What is what? what? <laughs> <laughs> it is very funny. Oh man. Okay, all right. Let's 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 give her the benefit of the doubt, man. Let's go back to because someone might be watching this this my channel that like this Gatsby girl. Let's go. Let's let's watch her and let's go back. I do like to brag that I married a bisexual woman because it upsets a very particular kind of man that I really enjoy upsetting because this is a decision. And you weren't. 